let's focus our attention on the LDL. LDL is a short name for low density lipoprotein. It is the bad cholesterol. It is a lousy cholesterol and you want that number to be as low as possible. LDL is a cholesterol that is toxic to the lining of your arteries. It gets deposited in the blood vessels leading to blockages which cause a heart attack or a stroke. It is not surprising then that LDL cholesterol most often becomes the target for treatment in patients with coronary artery disease or those patients at high risk for developing coronary artery or vascular disease. Most cardiologists agree that 130 milligrams per deciliter represents the upper limit of normal for LDL levels and otherwise healthy individuals should try to attain a number close to or below this number. As we accumulate other risk factors like old age, high blood pressure, family history of heart disease or tobacco usage, the LDL levels should optimally fall closer to or below 100. Once heart disease is known to be present or an evidence of vascular disease is present elsewhere like a history of stroke or patient has diabetes, the LDL cholesterol should be brought down to less than 70 milligrams per deciliter. Achieving an LDL level below 70 milligrams per deciliter is very difficult if you depend upon lifestyle changes alone. It usually requires the use of cholesterol lowering medications like the statins. The reason that we want to attain extremely low LDL levels in this later group of patients is that studies have shown that with very aggressive LDL lowering we can actually see some regression in the blockages which have accumulated over time. How can you lower your LDL cholesterol? By consuming a healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains but low in saturated fat, by getting regular exercise and by attaining and maintaining a normal weight. LDL levels can change dramatically with lifestyle changes. You can see 30 to 40 per point drops especially if your lifestyle is particularly unhealthy to begin with. There are lots of effective and safe medications available for lowering LDL. Nevertheless, these medications are not a substitute for good eating habits or healthy lifestyle choices. Medications will also be much more effective if you do your part and live healthily. From a treatment perspective, of the three cholesterol particles that make up the cholesterol profile, LDL is the easiest to control with medications and the most important.